Hey guys, it's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Today we're going to take a real quick comparison look at uh, Android L, the developer preview that just was released for the uh, Nexus 7, and then Android 4.4. Uh, this is either 3 or 4, I can't remember exactly, but uh, KitKat that is running on my older Nexus 7. So we'll take a, a real quick comparison of the two and see what you can expect in the brand new Android. Okay, so the KitKat that I'm running on here on the old Nexus 7 is a custom ROM, uh, but it's gonna be pretty indicative of what you could expect on KitKat. So now you'll see that, uh, sorry about that, um, the lock screens look a little different and it also has these um, cool little notification shades. Android has taken its inspiration from the custom ROM community and realized that uh, these swipeable notifications on your lock screen are a good idea, so they've implemented them. If you tap them, they will take you into the respective uh, application. So to begin with, um, gone is our little circle locker. Now we swipe up or right or left for different, uh, left for the dialer, right for the camera. Now the home screens, uh, you're not gonna be able to compare them too well right now because this is actually Nova Launcher, but uh, the home screens haven't changed a ton. Uh, icons look slightly different here and there, but the folders work about the same way. Um, now when you long press on your home screen, you get this wallpaper menu that pops up and it uh, kind of resembles old Android. Um, not what we're used to. Probably the main difference that you're going to notice are the soft keys down at the bottom, the on-screen keys, back home and recent tasks. They look totally different on the Android L. A lot of people are saying that they resemble PlayStation controller buttons. And yeah, I guess so. Um, it's very minimalistic. Don't know if I'm such a fan. I'm, I, kind of, uh, I kind of prefer the old ones, but you know, that's not that big of a deal. Probably the largest difference you're going to notice is in the drop-down notifications. Android KitKat, you pull down and you get your notifications. If you pull down on the other side, you get your quick toggles. Now with Android L, you pull straight down, you get your notification shade, pulls down, and you see your notifications look a little different. Google is leaning towards their cards system, uh, like you would find in Google Play, to run on their notifications. Now to get your quick toggles, you pull down once again and you get your quick toggles. You see they look a little different. You don't have the user picture over here anymore. It's actually in the top right corner and it's smaller. Status bar looks a little different. It actually shows the battery now. The clock is different. The date is gone, which here, KitKat, you don't have a time and date at all. It's actually in the notification shade. But, I mean, I, I kind of like it. Now we're in the settings menu and here you'll see some more changes. Uh, they've kind of revamped the settings. Got a very white uh, minimalistic look now and the settings are better arranged to utilize the, uh, the space. You don't have this long list. All the settings are about the same though. You basically have all the same stuff. It's just a different layout. Now one thing also you'll notice on KitKat when you get to the bottom of a list you get your overscroll glow and it's a gradient glow at the bottom or top also right and left depending on what kind of menu you're in now the glow is gone it's replaced with this solid color that uh, comes down it's no longer a gradient now recent tasks running tasks looks different as well we no longer have the just normal list here that we did before that you could swipe back and forth. Now we have, as I said, the cards, which Google tends to be leaning, leaning towards. 
But I mean, it works just the same. You can you can swipe them away if you need to. So there you go, guys. That was a real quick look at a just a few differences between KitKat and the new release of Android L. Once again, this is just a developer preview. It's not the final release that will be coming later in the year. So some aspects of this could change between now and then as well. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. This is Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. I'll see you next time.